Okay, so we are here with, again, the lovely ladies of 50 States of Madness. Um, this was too good to be true for me to uh, not give these ladies some insight into this. I didn't want to do this alone. Thank and you, I thought, <laughs> we why it. not bring in the ladies of 50 States of Madness? Um, possibly. I don't know if this is legit or not. Again, this is all came to me. This person had wrote me on Instagram by the name of Nicole Gutowski. I'm guessing it's Jim's last name. The title for the Twitter says, first of all, I loved a man, a bad man. I've done things I'm not proud of. I did wrong, so don't ask. I have a new life with the love of my life. Jim, work from home from the new uh, company of Oxy. Um, so apparently I looked into Oxy. It's another, um, well refinery company, but again, I don't know if this is completely true or not, but they have done some, I wouldn't say threatening, but they have said some, some words to me. Um, and I was just like, you know what, I'm <laughs> yeah. going to go into with the girls of madness and we're going to discuss. So let's, here we are. Let's dissect that. Yeah. Did, did you want to throw that up so they can see Yep, that? we can show it here just for a second. I'll post it up here. So if I'm, you guys can let me know if you guys can see this. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Um, Can you see all of it or? Yeah. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. The top of the oxy, not really, but it's, per yeah, it's good. We can see all the right. It's actually very clear. Okay. So I, obviously we can see her picture. Yes. Um, from what she possibly looks like. The only thing that bothers me the most is well, I think it's funny. Is she says in, she's in Wisconsin? That's obviously because where Jim lives. Yes. Um, we also see okay. that it was joined this year of January, which we still are in January. Yeah. There's ten followers and one follower. So right off the bat, I was kind of shocked to see this, but at the same time, I looked into it. I was like, this could be a fan just saying some BS. Possibly made a, a clip or so forth. And just was spouting off and saying some nasty stuff. Um, <laughs> I I have a, um, but when I saw that picture, I've never, I, I mean, as, and maybe I just don't remember, but as many times as I've looked up pictures of her, I've never seen that picture of her on so, social media. Where, where was that picture found? So this picture is yeah. new. Yes. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is I must obviously have been looking at a lot of pictures when it comes to AI generated photos, oh. which this kind of looks that way. Yeah. Um, again, I can't physically state because when I put the picture, when I copy and paste and throw it into Google, nothing pops up. So I did, I did my own research. I tried to look into this person to see if it is Nicole, which again, I would doubt that she would come to me of all people. Yeah. And be like, oh, you're saying, and I mean, don't get me wrong. If I, if I look at some of this, um, she wrote, you have no clue what you're, or no clue what happened. You're a piece of S. Oh, is that what that means? I yeah. don't know. I thought maybe she didn't finish. She didn't write out the whole word of poser or something. You <laughs> That's why I thought at first, but then I was like, wait a minute, this is piece of sh. Oh, okay. um, okay, got it. and she still tells me to stop telling lies. Um, and then she wrote, you're, you lie so much. You're getting, uh, where are you getting? Well, first of all, you said she or, spelled where, and that's, were. that's the thing that sticks out to me is there's a lot of these little slip ups where there's not correct punctuation, capitalization, spelling, grammar, this could be a lot a of it's off, even in her bio. If you look at the little bio yeah, and you read that, so it, it kind of looks like maybe like a 10 or 11 year old wrote it. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly that this could be possibly somebody other, other, un, under the age of 18. I mean, there are times that I've screwed up myself and put were instead of yeah. where. So, I mean, that could be a typo, but, but there's not even really... an R after it. Like, yeah. where are you getting this? <laughs> like, where are you getting yeah. this? Like we're missing words here too. <laughs> And then the the at is Nick Kessinger. I doubt that would be on there too because if she made this and then people would start finding this, that's just complete. I think hogwash. Well, I think she think spent so she spent so much time hiding out and hiding her identity and hiding where she is to all of a sudden surface just to talk shit to people who are 
posting videos. I'm curious to know how many other people she, did you click on the, who she's following? What other? Uh, she's following 10 people. Is it any other YouTube channels? So the funny thing is, is she's following What's the Obsession, True Crime. Mm -hmm. She's following Behind Criminal Minds. Um, a Killa Manga, a Tara, a Joey, a Jim, oh. True Crime Gal, True Crime Caledonia Kitty, Fox News, and Elon Musk. <laughs> wow. So I just kind of was like, you know what? I, I just need to figure out this. I don't, I honestly, again, 90%, I 99.9%, .9 I don't think this is Nicole. Um, well, the, I, I want to tell you the first thing that stuck out to me was her bio, because if, you know, if she is trying to hide and keep herself hidden from everybody, that bio, uh, you know, screams I desperation. Thing. It, it, yeah, like, I just don't feel like that would be the words that she would choose um, that that would be something she wouldn't want to talk about. She would want to talk about something else and portray herself as something else. Exactly. Um, I don't know, but, but honestly, you don't know. It, she, she clearly knows how to play mind games. And so I don't, you don't know. You really don't know. There is a posting she did post uh, two days ago. Um, on this uh, Twitter, which she did write me again. Um, what did she say? Where did that go? I'm just, I, I was tempted to follow it, but at the same time, I didn't want to. Yeah. Um, but it stated, where did it go? Where did it go? Look at my, you lie so much. Where are you getting all your BS? Um, karma is a B. Um. <laughs> and when was that Twitter account opened? Um, it says January. So obviously, oh, so, with, oh okay. Obviously yeah, so just last, recently in the last two weeks, probably. Yeah, the two weeks. Okay. No, no, no. Because I was a little confused <laughs> and that's on me. The first one you put up, for some reason, I thought it was like a YouTube channel type. She was oh. like, make, people make comments on our, like from our YouTube channel. So this is all strictly from Twitter, them reaching out to you. It is. Okay. It does say on that 15th though, it does say too, she goes, never intended for any of this to happen. Don't be fooled into thinking that I had any involvement. Chris acted independently. And if there was assistant, it wasn't from me. I wasn't present at all. All details past, present, and future will be clarified in my upcoming book and bookstores in June, 2024. Okay, if a book comes out in June 2024, then we'll know it was the wrong thing. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna, I'll be buying that book just to read about this. Yes. I mean, I haven't heard uh, about her writing a book, but but who am I, you know? But what would it be titled? If um, I did it, just like OJ's book. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't if see I this. Did. Yeah, if I did this or I wasn't involved, I, I don't know. I just I, I just can't even see her writing a book right now just because of all the controversy and putting yourself out there and risking it. Because even though you've been technically so-called cleared right now, um, she it, there's no double jeopardy on her. She wasn't, you know, she wasn't brought to the courts. They deemed her innocent. So she can always, you know, murder. You can always be taken. Yeah. To, yeah. You can always and, be charged. Is and what I I'm found out say. too that oh. she did not, she did not get immunity. Yeah. Right. I found out that she didn't get immunity. She just went. And I did talk with uh, you guys prior before we started this, which I um, wanted to let the viewers know that we talked briefly beforehand and yeah. that you guys didn't know about the whole big discrepancy right now. That's between. Um, which I talked to behind criminal minds. I talked to, I can't remember his name offhand. I want to say Nathan, but it's not Nathan. Um, I can't remember his name offhand, but um, he posted a video not too long ago. That, that video was beautifully done. I saved it. So I have it just in case 
but I saved it. I cried. I was an emotional roller coaster for myself. Um, and it pretty which, much shows. Which video was it? I, I will show you guys later. Okay. Um, I, we had to take it down uh, oh. because um, the DA, I'm not going to say his name just for legal purposes. The DA that's currently in there, his wife had a podcast and he had stated in there that he doesn't watch anybody that's um, monetized or anything like that because we are uh, ju our junior detectives looking to play um, criminal justice. We don't know what we're talking about. We're behind an anonymous keyboard sitting on our couches and playing um, judge. Hi, I'm, my name's Shannon, not really anonymous. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, like, my, my face is plastered all over every week. I don't know how this is anonymous, <laughs> but. Probably pretty not, a, we're not anonymous, but go on. No. But the right funny here. thing is, is his wife's podcast had an ad in it for some type of medical stuff to mm. take to make yourself better and mood and, and to be rejuvenated. But it's just funny that he talks it, about us being monetized I, and. Isn't that the definition of monetized is when you yeah. have ads, like, but she has a YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah. which I'm not going to post it on there. Um, but just miraculously, luckily mine wasn't, uh, what's it called? Copyright straight. I took yeah. it down before. Cause all my viewers had come to me saying, you got to take your video down because behind Carol minds just got a, um, copyright strike because the content that was in there was deem D defamation or de defamation, oh, defamation was yeah. a defamation of her reputation so she they he had to remove it but that's he, her podcast though that's that's her talking it's right free it's free to use it she posted on her youtube channel which her youtube channel is not monetized but then again found out through other people that that video that she posted of that podcast was removed Hmm. So I think it's still on Apple and Spotify for free, but if you post it on the internet and it's not monetized or anything like that, and this guy used to be a lawyer, I think I still think this guy is the lawyer today. He made sure that he was using this audio as fair game, chopped up and used it like he was supposed to, and he knew what he was doing, and it got claimed, gave him a copyright strike. I removed mine. But then the funny thing is, is people came to me afterwards and stated that their or they saw that her video was removed because he pretty much stated in there that we can't catch all bad guys. What can you do? We're only human. Um, stop asking about me going after Nicole. It's not going to happen. Get over it. He literally almost said that those words verbatim. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting. He's like, we're not going to get all the bad guys. I don't know what you want us to do. We got the bad guy. But did you? And then we like, found you out got later one on, of them. Well, you got one of them. But then we found out later on that um, the mom, Mrs. Rusek, wanted the death penalty. She wanted the death penalty for Chris, but uh, the DA didn't want to do it because it would take more time and more effort and more money. And it and and then it would take more digging because they need to show more proof. Yes. So they, they would dig further and they'd find out that they need to bring somebody else to justice. And that everything would have to be submitted about Nicole is a lot of work for them. Plus, did he ever verify or say anything about the connection between her and the um who was the the guy who had come out? um previously and said we're not going after her because chris confessed so quickly who was that guy the was he the district attorney the DA, the the what was his name rourke da rourke rourke, rourke is the one that's pretty much muting everything now and his wife I'm gonna. I'll sh I'll get a picture of the guy okay. and you, you tell me afterwards if that's the one who came out um was he the one who came out and spoke to the media like days yes. after? Yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was it? Didn't they find out, or wasn't there an episode that you did where there was some sort of connection with the father to the DA? Yep. Well, there was some type of uh, connection down the line that either the DA was related 
by marriage to a senator, which that senator was possibly in cahoots with Anna Darko and and uh, Nicole and her father and, and stuff like that. But like I did a poll on my channel too about if you guys were a jury of peers, would you commit Nicole to guilty or non-guilty in a trial? Yeah. Like it was like 96% would have said that she, if this woman was uh in trial in front of a group of, what is it? 12 jurors. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. 12 jurors. I guarantee 11 of those jurors would have said guilty. guilty. Absolutely. Well, just based on the video evidence, the um, time frame, the, uh, you know, all, all the, um, the car, the, there's everything. There's so much out there caught on camera. I know that we watched a video. Also, we got, we were kind of watching a video where it was implying that her best friend, Nicole, yeah, Nicole Atkinson. Atkinson. I watched that. Did you which... watch that one? I know. That was a little. I, th- what, what would be Nicole Atkinson's motive? They're saying that, that Nicole Atkinson and Chris Watts were, I guess, had a relationship on the side. Yeah, I don't. Chris had a type. Yeah. And, and. I'm not Nicole saying anything. Was I'm not. not saying, yeah. Nicole Atkinson, not to say she's not beautiful. She has her beauty, but it is not in Nicole or in Chris's window of his window of women was tall, boy, busterous. Yeah. Brunette and adventurous because uh, Shannon was adventurous in the beginning before yeah. she had kids. But because she had kids, she went into mom mode. But yeah. I do not see them. Yeah, no. I don't. Well, I the, call thing BS. It, the thing that made it hard for me to, and I was telling Gina this when we we're watching, it was super hard to follow. It was almost like they were trying too hard to put pieces together. That I was like, "Hold up, wait a second, what's going on here? I don't even see what they're pointing at right here. Was what this is here the... with the movie?" And I even told Gina on the one where they were like, "Oh, it's be- look at Nicole, um, the be- the friend." Look at the her car. She it, she if she didn't know what happened with Shanann, she wouldn't she have come up to the house to ask when she saw the cop cars there to ask um if they found Shanann. My thing, and I said this to Jean, I said, if that was my friend and I saw the police activity, I'd be the same way. I'd be down the street looking, seeing, are they getting him? Even if I didn't know, like be I didn't know what was happening. I would not pull up to the house. I'd be that nosy little best friend going, what's happening down there? Are the cops getting him? Is he getting arrested? I wouldn't want to be in the middle of, I wouldn't go jumping over there and and interrupt their investigation for my questions. They even said something about the son. Yes. I'm like, come on. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We we had, which I'm sure it might be the same, the same listener that, that sent it to you um he he sent it to us and and i just told him i said i feel like we would have to go back from the to the very beginning of his videos on this because i was super confused and i think that it would be something i'd have to watch from the very beginning and also i don't know if it's like a robot or some sort of ai that's talking in the video but it's very like all run on sentences. There's no start and stop. And it's, they talk very fast and it's just, I'm like, hold on. We kept pausing it. <laughs> we kept having to pause <laughs> it because I'm like, what are they talking about? Just to process the information we had to pause it. Yeah, but, it and then when we, when we went to the page, I was like, um, you realize like they have like, um, why, you know, the neighbor's videos are fake. Um, episode 282. I'm like, there are like, we'd have to be sitting here for a year to catch up on these videos. Like, how am I supposed to process all this information? There's so much. So I mean, they were even looking at the crack that was on the truck. Yeah. Like, look, the track, the truck or the crack is there. But when it's nighttime, the crack has gone. I'm like, because there's different lighting and the camera can't see the crack. I'm like, why are we worrying about the crack when we're supposed to be worrying about what's over here with the possibility of people over here? I 
Have Isn't you, that... um, have you just out of curiosity yes. seen Nicole Atkinson's YouTube channel? I have. Yep. I did. Um, I was going to start introducing some of her stuff. Um, people wanted me to look into her interview that she had, um, with her and her son. Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking about starting into that genre, but again, she, the way that I look at it is if it wasn't for Nicole Atkinson, I feel we, like we would have never gotten Chris. Yeah. Oh, for sure. This yeah. would have been a whole different scenario. We would have never found her and Chris would be probably living his life with the insurance money with Nicole. Yeah. yeah. She got bored, but because of her, the, the whole plan got foiled and he didn't have time to get rid of things because he was washing clothes and he was cleaning up house and, and Shanann always said that she was the one that did that because Chris didn't like yeah. tidying up because he wanted to come home from work and play with the kids and not deal with that unless it was the weekend. And this was not on a weekend. This was on Monday. Yeah. So again, I called BS on the whole Nicole Atkinson being involved with Chris. Yeah, and or... she, makes, um, she makes a very interesting comment on one of her videos when she's talking and she, she basically puts out there how much she hates people that, that make all these videos um, about it. And she says, um, basically like read the discovery and nobody will ever know what happened that day. Unless I feel like we get a new DA. Yeah. And we did. If, do, yeah. I feel like if they do more, some more investigation, I think the truth will eventually come out. We just need somebody who is willing to put in the time and the money to do it. Yeah. So yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. My wife brought in some that food. Was, that was sweet of her. <laughs> Hi wife. <laughs> um, <laughs> It just bothers me because ever there's some people that say get over it. I know we've touched the subject before, but again, it's not like we're bringing up photos of Shanann being dead and deceased, and no. we're showing all this stuff. I wholeheartedly, and I've said this before, I don't know what it is inside me, but I feel like I know something, but I don't know something. Like I, I feel this burning sensation that I know that she's not innocent. Yeah. Of and I'm like, I got to fight for it. And obviously I'm not touching a sore subject with um, Frankie or his family. Cause I guarantee there's people out there that have seen my videos and he's on Facebook or YouTube as well. Um, yeah. Because I'm not trying to say anything about the, when you type in Google, but a lot of my videos pop up nowadays and yeah. it's just, I I'm respectful I keep it how it is. I mean, you ladies do the same thing. Yeah. Just, we just say the facts, you know, we just say what we're finding, what we see, you know, and, and just voice our opinion. And we're all allowed to do that. We're not coming up with crazy day. theories and no stuff. And, I mean, there, and God knows there's a lot of those out there. Yeah. I mean, there's theories I've heard that apparently Chris was sleeping with the babysitter and then, and yeah. Shanann was also involved. I guarantee that woman did not want any part of a threesome. That woman wanted to live her life with her kids. Yep. I, and like I sat there and said, I was like, how dare you for the people that sit there and blame Shanann because she was a um, controlling woman. That woman was very independent. She was yeah. driven. She knew what she wanted. She was willing to do anything. It's not, it's Chris's fault, but for being that shy, secluded man. Yeah. When she was the one that was out there busting her butt, I think they even said that she made more than Chris. Yeah, yeah she did. She made more than Chris. She did. And it's his insecurities. And that's, and, and when you do look, and I'm not going to say anything bad about men or anything like in general, but when you do look up like the reasons why men cheat, one of the number one reasons are their insecurities. And he did have that. He was overweight prior. All of a sudden he loses weight. He starts feeling a little bit good about himself. She's making more money than he is. Some girl pays him attention while his wife is out of town. And all of a sudden, you know. Yeah. They're, Hell they're for Shanann, I would have done anything and everything for that woman. I would have been like, oh, you want some milk? Let me go get that. You want your feet rubbed? Okay, here we go. You're I mean, taking this, care of the family. <laughs> I mean, yes. you're in a commitment with the family. Yeah, okay. She's a little boisterous but you help each other out and stuff like that. Yeah. And he just wanted to give up and be with Nicole because just she 
didn't tell him what to do. Well, you know what, though? The funny thing is, eventually, if he would have left Shanann, just say, eventually, if he would have left Shanann, she would have became the same type of woman because oh, absolutely, the same type of woman. Once she got him, she would have been controlling him because she was already controlling him. Just in a sweeter, gentler way. Because it was all new. They're still in the yeah. honeymoon phase. She was a manip- you- manipulator. Yeah. She was manipulating the whole scene. And he just was like, yes, I'll say whatever you want. I mean, or do whatever you're you want mistress, kind of thing. When you're the mistress, you're the sweet one on the side. Yeah. You know, and then afterwards, you know, yeah. you can be who you, who you really are. Yeah. So, and look at, based on how she's tweeting, she, you know. No. <laughs> she's right. happily married with Jim. With Jim. She's a little bossy, I take from that little bio right there. She's a little cocky. <laughs> but no, but on, on a serious note, yeah. Um, I just think that he he did not do it without her assistance because there is yeah. no way he would have made a enough. decision like that. Yes. There's no way he would have made a decision like that without having the backup and the support from the woman he loved. Right. Or I think why he was crying in the courtroom when his uh, sentencing happened is because he was crying that, yeah, he's going to prison for life, yeah. but he didn't kill his daughters. He knows who killed his daughters because he couldn't do it, I feel. yeah. But I course. also feel that I just, somebody broke Bella's lip. They broke that little piece right here because I went over the autopsy. I don't know if you guys saw those videos I posted. But I went over th- them very fine tooth comb and and um and now people are thinking that Shanann wasn't killed this way, she was killed this way. Oh, because they feel like she went, they came from behind because there was more pressure on this side. Well, your biceps right here, yeah. So sure. your bicep could do that. Where I mean, I thought it was like this with her on top, and I thought it was the thumb because your thumb is gonna be stronger than these fingers. Yeah. I right. feel so they're thinking that he came from behind her and surprised did that because yeah. she didn't struggle. He said, exactly. I don't right. see that her. He said something about that. She s- sat there and was like saying a prayer or something. No, if, yeah, you're that choked, did, yeah. if you're being choked, you're either one fighting for it or two, you didn't know it was coming and you have no way to get off and you're kind of passing out and you're trying to, it would make more sense that way because he made it sound like I got on top of her. I sat on top of her. She was looking at me and she just prayed. To me, it makes more sense that she got behind him because um, I think a coward, he would not look at her eyes. He wouldn't no. look at her and kill her. That makes sense. He's a coward about it. Like he put bags, he put bags and pillowcases over her face because he knew when he yeah. killed her, he didn't want to look in her face. He didn't want to look at her. Yeah. So what, what makes you me believe that you sat over her and watched looking at her screen out of her, you, you didn't do that because I can see it. If it was in the middle of a huge old fight and you're pissed and you know, you go on top and he does it cause he's in anger mode, but it was all planned. Yeah. I, I, I just don't or see they it. had sex that night. They didn't have nothing. No, he no. He didn't want nothing with her anymore. He was having too much snooky with Nicole yeah, yeah. He didn't yep. want anything with her. So she got mad and was like, who is it? Like, why don't you want it with me? That's when he spouted out. I do think that she possibly had mentioned it's over. Like you're not going to see the kids. I think she might've done that like as a fit of rage because she wanted to fix her marriage. But again, I don't think she did it as in like bluntly, like terrifying him, but he kind of freaked out to the point where, but it's still planned. But he freaked out because he's like, well, I don't want to pay child support. I don't want to pay for alimony. I don't want to pay for half the house. If I if I kill her, then I won't have to worry about this, this, and this. And I can get the insurance money. That's they, This was all planned. Yeah, it had to have been. It yeah. had to have been. Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't think it was a spur of the moment. I think um, be, just because of the movements of Nicole as well, if There was no surprise in her movements. No, like it was like, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking in a way like if I had a boyfriend and he murdered his wife and it was not planned and I had no clue it was going to happen, 911. Oh, yeah. 
driving to his house at 6 15 in the morning waiting for him to knock me off because i found out about it she yep. had a watch she had a phone you couldn't tell me if she had that on she wasn't i mean there's a, a help assistant button on there yep. i've seen so yeah. she had obviously taken all this stuff off she probably had gotten probably taken a shower because when i come home from the airport and all that stuff i want to get all that crap off me because yeah. i God knows what's on there. <clears throat> yeah. She didn't have pants on. So she was in the midst of probably coming out of the shower or something to that effect. And she didn't see it coming and she was taken by surprise. And he was a coward, coward about it, like you said. And he took her out. Yeah. Honestly, I think if she knew about it, she could have kicked his ass. To be honest with you. To be honest, that woman definitely seemed like she's pretty like boisterous yes. woman that she could have. She was. She would have put up a fight. She would have put, up a, would have put been, up a fight. There would have been DNA, scratch mark. There would have been a whole lot more than just a few little. Yeah. You know? That's why I don't feel like there's like with the, the like his leg, like his legs, his feet, his arms. That man had no scratches on him. No. Yeah. So how the hell did you do this without any defensive wounds? Obviously, we found out there was no like chloroform. There was no drugs. There was no alcohol yeah. or anything that was in her system. But the only way that I could think of at this point now that could have resulted in it is he came from behind her and surprised yeah. her. Yeah. That makes a hundred percent sense. And then also, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm moving stuff around at my house, that's a even a little bit heavy. I get bruises on my arms. Sometimes I get knocked around. You're telling me you carried a body by yourself into a truck up over, lifted it, put yeah. it in there without anything getting on your body well no like i said that woman hair. was at least 140 pounds with baby yeah i mean i can pick that up but i'm struggling but yeah. you're also talking somebody that's deceased dead weight is different yeah she's that's not holding right. on to you no they're, they're not helping you at all that's just dead weight and you're walking yeah. out the front at five o'clock in the morning and you're yeah. just carrying this person outside and nobody sees you. Yeah. And so she, she was a healthy fit woman. And I'm going to tell you, um, Gina, she's a tiny little thing when you see her in person, but I'm going to tell you, Gina half the time is not 140. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not, yeah. I don't want to put you on blast or anything, but no, no I weigh a right. lot. Yeah. It, she's, Do you think Gina's you the same see? size as Shanann? I'm a lot shorter than her. She's a lot shorter too. So I'm five, saying like when you say I'm I five you, two. Yeah, five when two. I'm saying she's one four, I don't think Shanann was one forty. When I see the video of her walking in, I'm gonna say at least one seventy five. Yeah. Uh, weight and not saying that she was oh because that's not overweight on her height five six yeah. and she's probably pretty because she looked fit. She looked solid in her photos, but she didn't look tiny. Her she had her the hip she was a child. Size, I mean her. Her and she was pregnant. I mean, I, I'm going to say at, uh, 160, 175 around that. Still, week. that's quite and a that's, bit. I mean, and my wife pick her up. Yeah. My wife is, I think, 120. And sometimes she can be a thick woman. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I'm like, yeah. And, um, and it, granted, you know, the videos might make her look a little bit heavier, like based on, you know, her coming in and out of yeah. the house. And Photos see. add 10 pounds. I mean, well, the photo might make her look a little bit heavy, but. Um, one time Gina told me, she, she told me she was 140 one time and I'm like, Gina, there's no way you're like at 120. She's like, <laughs> she's, five two. she's like, no, I weigh 140. And she's a tiny little, Gina's tiny, you know? Yeah. And, and yeah, it, it's, I, I just don't, I don't know. You guys should make a video where you guys are dragging each other around your guys' houses. Just seeing if you guys can possibly no, do maybe it. I'll see if, if We'll, we'll try to carry each other out or like your husband let's see if he can like just pretend like you're dead weight and like yeah, try to go upstairs or... I, i'm gonna tell you my husband is six two and when i go dead weight on him he cannot move me he cannot move me and um i i and he's a and he's six two 280 290 pounds he goes to the gym every wet day he he's a baby boy weight. He is, <laughs> he can lift things and he cannot lift me. If he had to drag my body, he would probably need help as well. Or That's why it's, a struggle. It's gotta, you, yeah. It's gotta be two people or more. Yeah, I definitely. still don't think it's more. Yeah. So yeah, I, without a doubt. 
But then again, I mean, at 140, he could probably flip Gina up and over and twist her. I'm not Gina's size, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but you're talking, when you're talking dead weight, it's, it's a lot different, though, to just lift somebody up. Mm -hmm. Because I lift kids all day at work. That is true. And there have been times I've had to lift kids that are almost 200 pounds. Oh, crap. And I probably couldn't lift somebody that's a hundred pounds dead weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're like, he said, like, they're not hanging on to you. They're not, you know, no, it's, it's, it's exactly. It's different. And he said he had to go through or he had to go downstairs, which I was what, how many stairs? Then he had to go through the, the living room, the hallway, then yeah. the garage through there. I just, that's why I still think it's in the basement. Yeah. yeah. And no, then I, took, took out the back door or back window. I just think there'd be more marks on his body. Mm -hmm. Exactly. On his well, hand. Definitely. On his, yeah. Well, even bringing him out, you can't tell me he didn't hit himself on something or he hit her or. Yep. Yeah. Postmortem no, sure. or. Something. And going out to, not, not only that, but he had to lift them to put them in tanks. He had yeah. to bury them out there. And you're going to tell me he did that all on his own? He, he murdered his no his family. He took him out there. He dug the hole that was, what, four feet deep by himself. He did and all this And that's not easy to do either. Four hours? Yeah. Could you and imagine? He made it back to go meet the police. Yeah. And and, and, and honestly, it, it, and you guys tell me on the timeline, because sometimes I get really confused. But when he went back to go meet the police, he was coming back from there right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. In different yeah. clothes. In different clothes. But he, he, the man did not look dirty. Nope. The man did not look like he was out there digging. He the was man, not sweating. He was not. He, no. Dirty. And this is an, this is an August. Where yeah. it's, and I looked at the weather. It was between 86 to 92 degrees that day. In there you go. For three days. There you go. I'm sweating my butt off. Thank you. He hydrated. <laughs> you would have been able to see him so then my question is and this is the first time i'm going to bring this up did he because i know that he had them wait a while did he stop anywhere to take a shower and if he did where did he stop probably nicole's house oh yeah who knows i never you know what i never thought of that but again did they did they go to her house did they go to his house did they test the i mean there could have been showers yeah, at a darko yeah. who knows i mean with true the the dirt the blood the whatever Ooh. i mean my there's construction sites that my dad goes to that they have showers there because a lot the guys get dirty i mean you got oil yeah. you got cement you got all this stuff so you they can, shower they have, before you go they, home yeah they have the option i mean when i was in the military we had showers at the, the headquarters we could take showers before we go home so they <laughs> could have showered there all the evidence was gone yeah. what did you do with those clothes though they found him in a garbage can. Okay, they did. Okay. They did okay. find him, but they didn't test him. Because he um, he copped to it. So he, yeah, everything. Like nothing. That's really, yeah, that's really why. But they found they out that they were going to go after it. They were going to start doing more interrogations on Nicole. That's when he was like, yep, I did it all. Yeah. Yeah, no, they let him know. Um, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It, so. Ooh. Okay. I mean, we can make more parts of this. <laughs> Yeah. Let's break it down some more. Well, yeah. you know what's funny? As many times as we talk about that, there's certain things as as we're talking through it, more yeah. things new things come up. Come up. Yeah. And that's why people are like, well, can you guys stop doing this? Because you're not going to find anything out. I'm telling you every single day, there's something small that pops up and you're like, wait a minute. Holy crap. That actually makes sense. Or where did this come from? Or yeah. holy crap, this is over here. Why is like I'm finding things out every single day. I've listened to his jailhouse interview and I'm really curious. I'm going to go back and listen to it again. Cause maybe I missed it. Maybe I overlooked it, but I know how he talked about how, what he did with the girls, how he took them out there, what happened at the house, his version of events. But I really want to listen to the fact that what happened in between that drive from the crime scene to the house to meeting the cops because I, I do want that little piece answered. I don't know. I I, I don't know if it's significant or not, but maybe where when did he have time to change his clothes? Why didn't he look dirtier or sweatier than he was? 
what, um, you know, cause they had the multiple, the, the, the other footprint at the crime scene. Why wasn't that looked into further? But I just want to know, like, walk, walk me through the steps, please, Chris, on what happened from after, cause everybody was focused on what happened up until they put him in the tank, but what happened after? And then when you went yeah. to go meet the cops, you know, cause we know what happens when he gets there cause of the video, but what's all that time in between? I am curious whose house well, he went. The to GPS shower. in his truck. You can't tell me he didn't stop for coffee. He didn't stop for a drink, wash his hands yeah. somewhere where they could have stopped so that they could find out, Oh, he went to this gas station. Let's look at the camera for when he went inside. What was, what he, was wearing? he wearing <laughs> when he left? He was wearing jeans, white shoes, a black t-shirt. But when he showed up to go talk to the, the, the police officers he's got a gray shirt on he's got uh jeans on but boots yeah okay so maybe he has a locker at work i'm just like i don't know how they did it but um when he that's a lot of planning because if he did it in the spur of the moment like he's trying to claim like he, he didn't think he was it was it, he didn't know it was going to happen he did it how did he know to take a change of clothes? Because he didn't know that the cops were going to be at his house. He said he always brings clothes with him. Hmm. Okay. Which I could understand. Honestly, playing but... devil's advocate, I could understand. Okay. okay. At the same field. time, I mean, like he could have had a whole kit, pair of clothes and that helped him. But again, like you said, he probably washed it. Or like I said before, he could have washed it all away went to Nicole's house because Nicole's house was not far away from Anadarko. Yeah. And and like the whole phone pinging, I, I literally went through her phone records. The yes. only day that she ever pinged in Frederick, Colorado was, was the morning part? of the murder. And some TikToker came at me and said, you don't know what you're talking about because she went, she, she goes to work and she probably pinged that morning. There's five different ways to go to Anna Darko from her house. And all the times that she went to his house, she never pinged once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. So no, I call bull like, crap on that too. Yeah. Oh, well, we, Gina, do you believe in coincidences? Nope. Nope. <laughs> we don't believe in coincidences. Nope. No, no, it, uh, it was intentional. So, okay. Wow. I, know I mean, that. this is our third video, but I don't think we're going to be done ever. Not until ever. she's behind bars. Yeah. Not until oh. at least they bring charges against her. We can't guarantee that she will go behind bar, but at least, can we at least get her in Somebody front? to look into this. Missouri. Somebody yeah. to exactly. I mean, look at Gypsy Rose. She didn't kill her mom. She just told her boyfriend, if you don't do this, we can't be together. Yeah. And he did it. Couldn't Nicole have said the same thing? Yeah. We didn't, we don't have that, but she did not, like Gypsy Rose said, I didn't commit the murder, but in some states, it would have been accessory to murder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just not, just not in her state. <laughs> so in Colorado, which Nicole could have gotten accessory to murder, they just didn't look into her as much. She could have done at least 15 to 20 years yep. for tampering with evidence, deletion of this. Um, lying to police officers and she could have at least done i wouldn't say life but she could have got 10 to 20 oh for sure <clears throat> sometime for something like something just acknowledge something. that she was involved just acknowledge that she was involved and he wasn't in this by himself mm -hmm. yeah i mean because she might not have been the one who actually did the murder but there's I mean, a Chris lot does say it. that he will take things to his grave about nicole yeah of course he will so yeah. Well, I'm hoping a few more years in prison. That's not the case. So yeah. we'll see. We'll Maybe see. one day or with the yeah. DA uh, um, new votes or the, with the DA being voted this year, DA Rourke will not be in there. Yeah. Cause the elections are this year for 2024. And hopefully people that are watching that live in Colorado, you have a job to do. And the way to do this is not yeah. for him to be in office. Yeah. You can use your voice by voting. So yeah, use your voice. Yeah, so. 100%. But like I always say, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to these lovely ladies. I, I haven't looked at how far you guys have come so far. I mean, I watched one of your videos the other day, but. They're like 2,700, I think. Almost a three, okay. 
Yeah. yeah. We're working our way. We're working our way. We're we're way. You so too. Good. Congratulations. No. I was like, I, mean, I seen it. Again, the yay. The get I'm like, yes, you go. I, we're almost to 50. So we're almost to the first uh giveaway um, milestone. So I can give yeah. away one of those meta quest virtual reality headsets and then uh, I That's changed awesome. it so that instead of at 100, I'm going to do it one at 75 That's and then awesome. one more at 100. So just so we don't have to wait till 100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that'll be That's exciting. awesome. Good for you. But like I said, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to these lovely ladies. Watch their content. They just don't do Chris Watts. They're doing, I think you guys just posted one on Gypsy Rose. Yeah. And we're doing one on Erica Alonzo. I don't know if you heard of her, but it's a case over here in California. Okay. Uh, where um, a girl was murdered and they deemed it a um, drug overdose, but she was found with her body wrapped up and dumped and um, they're letting it go. Like they don't even have anybody for disposing a corpse. So we're talking to See, the That's family. messed up. Thank you. Like you can't say it's a drug. And she was found 10 miles from her car. First of all, oh. hold on. Let me saran wrap myself. Right. And then let right. me drug overdose and let me throw myself over here. Let me, let me take a drink alcohol and then take the date rape drug myself. Yeah. Willingly. And then these guys and these police drive officers up, drive me out to the Canyon. And then I'm going to walk in the Saran wrap for the next 10 miles and dump myself into a ravine. While being yeah. intoxicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with GHB in my system. I'm lucky if I can walk straight sober. Exactly. <laughs> They literally say, cause she was like 110 pounds. That would knock her out. She like, would have been out. She had in her, knocked her out. Yep. And for the police, not even to uh, even go after anybody for disposing of a corpse is ridiculous. And neighbors even said that they heard her arguing with her boyfriend. So look at him. He went missing. Oh no, but he was cooperative in the beginning. So we just, you know, yeah, overlooked it. He's good. Oh, oh he was cooperative. God. He came to us and said that he did see her and they had an argument. And they were they hung out with another couple that night too. Um, so and 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 that couple came forward with the exact same story as the boyfriend. So therefore, see, they're cleared. It's it's a lot. The family's trying to um raise money um for a private detective uh there's a, a few podcasts that are behind them a few youtubers that have gotten behind them and so the sister of the victim is coming on to it we're interviewing her tomorrow and she well, she's definitely send me a link because i'll get on that train because i would like to defend a woman that pretty much did not have it coming no so please yeah. send me the link and i'll do my yeah. video on her tomorrow then too Perfect. Yes. I, yeah. We're definitely going to get that from her tomorrow so that we can have that posted for everyone. All, all it is nowadays is just laziness. I, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand it. You I don't signed an oath to protect the United States from foreign and domestic inside and out. Yep. So yeah, oh, we're, we're not going to get all the bad guys. You dang no. well better sure get better. the bad guys. Yeah. Yep. It, it, and it's really close to home to us. So, you know, yeah. it's not too far from where we live. So we Jeez. definitely, yeah. Um, uh, the story was brought to us by um, one of, I have Gina's my best friend. I have one other friend. I only have, I have two friends. And oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> and so um, by my other friend, her brother brought it to our attention because he's really been trying to help the family get the word out there. So he asked us to see if we can try to Send do Send it that. to me. I'll do some work myself. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us. Oh. We really absolutely enjoy it every single time and have a blast. Yes. Doing this. I enjoyed it. it. I don't want to do this by myself. I thought I would bring you ladies in on this. Oh, one that's too again, awesome. So. Yeah. Thank Love you. So <clears throat> but again, like I said, again, the third time, go subscribe, subscribe on the channel and we'll see you guys in our next videos. See you Bye. later. Bye.